Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base 117's Nana Tour, 17 in the Soup, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have Ten's mini album, just called Ten, alright. Um, very intrigued. Um, it's been a while since we had a Ten song. We have, my favorite is Paint Me Naked out of all the songs of his. It's just such a bop. Um, I also like Birthday, of course, but I like Paint Me Naked. And then, of course, his really older songs from like 80 years ago, Dream in a Dream and New Heroes. I think I like Dream in a Dream more. But my favorite out of all of them is Paint Me Naked. It's about time we had a 10 song, or 10 album actually. Um, I'm very curious because it's called Nightwalker, which is kind of, sounds kind of creepy. Uh, and he's very like creative and an interesting person, so I'm very curious about it. Um, Taeyong's also having another album already. We all know why. I'm very sad about it. We're just gonna pretend like we don't know why. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Next video will probably be, um, I think Wavy just released something a little while ago. So maybe we'll check that out um, on Patreon if you are a Wavy stan. Um, I've, I always forget to say the fandom's names. Weshini? Weshini? Uh, we've done tons of, we've done everything Wavy. We've done Wavy Dream Plan. Um, what's the show? Wavy Wa Wa Vision? Wave Vision Season 2, the winter one. Um, I've done some like, we did NCT World 2.0, things like that. So, I mean, some of those come like two years ago. So, um, but you know, uh, if you want to check those out when you haven't, and if you like NCT as a whole, then we have like tons of other stuff. If you like 10, we've done like all the NCT lives and he's in a couple of them. Or seen just in the first one. I think he's in the second one too, right? I think it's like two or three of them, right? Um, but let's talk to you the video. All right, 10, let's go. Well, he looks so different here. Oh, that looks different here too. Probably gonna be English, but missing biologist. Ooh. The fact we got team and Anten in the same month, like same couple months, is a lot for the industry. Oh. oh, we have some of that uh, Neo in here. That Neo culture technology in here. All right. Cute. <laughs> Ten said we're destroying. We'll come back to the industry and just try it. I love the haunting elements here. We have elements from his other songs. Like you could, it's, he, he's he's 
very much him since day one, musically. Also, the song is actually like three minutes. The lack of eyebrows is just... It's frightening to me. <laughs> that was... It was just beautiful. I mean, he's already been a solo artist since like third gen, like, because when did it? Yeah, 2017. That's third gen. That was amazing. Oh. I didn't even know what that meant. I don't know. Anyways, that was amazing. I Paint Me Naked just kind of has a chokehold on me. Like, I can't really just... It's just... I just love you. I don't know. Maybe I can still, but I think logistically, logically, sonically, vocally, Nightwalker is just kind of that bitch. But Pay Me Naked lives in my head rent free. I want you flowing through my veins, let me go insane, never turn the faucet off. Just chill, bro. It's not like, hold back a bit. Look at that makeup. That's so cool. Is Satan like the person hydrates him? Keeps him alive? You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Kind of. I guess it's kind of. I love his voice on this song. It feels a bit, like, lower. Also, I think this is, like, the least I've heard his accent. Like, he doesn't even sound like 10 here. It's kind of creepy. Like, he kind of sounds more like... This is very specific, but I'm wa I just watched Boys Planet. Um, Jay from Boys Planet? Like, that very American... Like, he sounds very American here. He sounds like an American artist. He sounds very American here, which is weird because I've, I've never felt that way. Like, I, I tend to always have like an accent. He has a very distinct voice, too. Well, you could be kind of hear If you're searching for it, you can hear his accent. But, like, especially here, like, he. This song could be a little sexual too. I don't know if I portray it that way, but I can see it that way too. Oh, deep voice there. I think I like this more than Walker. I 
like the instrumental of it a lot. Yeah, very Latin vibes. I mean, kind of. I think they meant sus in the way of like, like, sexy, like, sexual. Oh, the lyrics are actually kind of cool here. I thought the analogy was cool too. But that's just me. I mean, it's SM. Them in English lyrics never go well, even though lots of them have like people who speak English in the group. I think he said, aren't you a diva? I'm not trying to say this, but I can't help it. I was thinking on the last song too. Did the person who wrote and produced Jungkook's album partake on this album? Like, generally. Like, do they have a similar producer or something? Because, I don't know, it, they sound so similar. I like Tan's voice a little more, so I'm like, like, because I, I didn't love Jungkook's solo album from BTS. It felt very simple, very basic. Like, like I, like it just sounds like any other pop album. And I'm getting that way with Tens, except for the first song, which is interesting. Even though I really wanted more, because like basic doesn't mean bad. It just means like it sounds like a very generic. <laughs> generic sounds bad too. Like a very simple. Pop album. Like Charlie Poo, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake. I would say Bruno Mars, but I think like Bruno Mars has a bit more unique this time. I really am genuinely curious if it's the same. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same producer. Actually, I, I think 10 really suits this style because the song's very sincere to... It sounds very sincere to, like, his voice. Like, if you listen to Dream in a Dream and, uh... How do I spread the other song? Mm. The name of it. Uh, New Heroes. New Heroes last night. It sounds more like Dream in a Dream. It sounds like it'd be like the uh, subtitle track, right? I would expect water because it's usually the second song, but I feel like this one has more uh, subtitle track vibes. I'm gonna have this issue where this is just a me issue where because I do listen to a lot of K-pop and stuff, and I can't help but just always be like, oh, it just because. If you're not like into a lot of groups or into a lot of artists and you're not listening to a lot of songs, a lot of things can sound very refreshing and new. But because I listen to a lot, it's like I can hear the trend heavily and it sounds very much like I felt this way recently. Well, not recently, it was, it's been a while, but like there's like a hype thing right now where everyone kind of starts, is, is kind of sounding the same right now. And if you listen to NCT or not NCT, uh, TXT's comeback, um, Chasing the Feeling, Joan Cook's solo debut, and Hypen's comeback, even before that, Jimin, uh, like crazy, they all sound so similar. And because this is a, this this isn't like Ten's fault, but it just this album sounds a lot like those songs, so I'm kind of just bored of that sound. Um, but I don't want to, like, put that on him because that's just because I have listened to a lot of those songs. And honestly, I haven't listened to them much since then, but it still lingers my brain. And obviously watching content with them, I'll, I'll like, hear it. Uh, 
So I think in due time, I will like and appreciate the songs more after not after having a bit of a palate cleanser. Um, because I generally think if I didn't hear all those songs the past couple months, I would love this song way more. But because I've heard all those songs the past couple months, I I'm bored of the song. Not gonna lie, I'm just bored of it. I'm just bored of it. It's it's kind of like when there was that heavy noise music trend during like Maniac with Stray Kids and stuff. Um, that doesn't mean I can't enjoy a good like song like this because I did enjoy it. But like, it's suffering from the fact that I just happen to not love the sound right now because I've just heard it so much and like it's hard to make this sound unique, like the style, because it's supposed to be a simple like like a simple chill vibe so it, it suffers more because like noise music you can do so much with that but like this sound it's hard to not just do falsetto over like a beat like this but it sounds really good with him i think that's why nightwalker so far is it the most unique to me okay This is very interesting for him. Finally, he puts his name to use. 10 out of 10. He better do a 10 out of 10 joke. Or an 11 joke. Have Young Young come in and do that. If I had a kid, I named them 11. Cause they're better than you. Let's see how we walk. Got me new years. This is like the best rapping. And English lyrics I've heard in a while from like someone who's not a like main rapper. Uh, is he even a lead rapper? Maybe in Wavy he was. He is ten Wavy. Because the rappers are Hendry and Young Young, but I mean you know they you know ten will like do a little rhythm rap like. Dang it. I just put wavy. Mm -hmm. Sub rapper. There's no sub rapping here. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> I think on 10 is that bitch. Because the lyrics are actually good. And they like, they're not cringy. You can say like the bragging can be cringy, sure, but like. Oh, he didn't partake in the lyrics. That makes it lose a bit of the meaning for me. Because someone else wrote a song about you bragging about yourself. That's so weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's something weird about that. Like, it's, it's different if it's like a group. But like, <laughs> someone else writing lyrics about how you're so cool. It feels weird. It's like, oh, at least I love me. And like, how cringe that is. Because she didn't write it. But it's very creative, so... I wish there was a bit more play on the word 10. Maybe you could do way more. Like, imagine... Oops. Imagine how cool it would have been if Young Young featured on this. And like I was I'm not even joking, like that would have been a cool bar. And it would have like a inside joke. That would still make sense to people who don't know it, but it would add more to people who do know the joke where he's like, uh like he could he couldn't even switch it to being like, well, I'm gonna name myself 11 because I'm better than you. Like, somehow, like, incorporate that as, like, a bar and then have 10, like, rap back at him. And 
Like, I think that would have been a cool feature. And then, like, if, like, if 10 says something, if 10 says something like, oh, I'm 10 out of 10, like, I'm that guy, like, try to come at me. And then there's, like, a switch in the sound and Yang Yang comes at him and is like, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to call myself, it's like I'm going to call myself 11 because I'm better than you. And then have 10 come back and, like, destroy him. <laughs> like, that would have been really cool and I, I think that, I mean, this song's already great. This was probably my favorite. Just, like, lyrically. Because it's just, it actually, like, I don't know. It's, like, rare to find lyrics, all in English, rapping-wise, where it actually makes sense. I mean, I'm not saying these are, like... What? <laughs> I, uh... I'm not saying it's, like, the most masterful bars ever, but, like, it was just, like, the expectations are on the floor for, like, English lyrics, honestly, so. I'm actually kind of sad he doesn't do his own lyrics. So I feel like he'd be good. When you're not even here. And he seems like someone who would want that. Oh, okay. I feel like what this album has done most for me is just get to listen to Tan's unique vocals more because he does shine a lot. I think he actually shines a bit more in Super, but like he shines a lot in Wavy with his vocals, but obviously it's a group so you don't get to hear it as much. Uh, Yang Yang does something soon because I, I like his voice and rapping a lot and he's also a good singer so I feel like I, I hope he's like the next one to do something your shadow. Sing your shadow. I think this is actually my favorite even though it's very simple, because I like the show and like the way he's whispering it a bit, like his voice is almost like in a whisper. I'm I like I like I like his. I'm very into like the eerie, creepy songs, and we've had two of them. So oh. I think. I just really enjoy that aspect. <laughs> oh, this is promising. This is even paint me naked already. Fingers crossed. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is uh, kind of just a Bieber-esque. 
um, like his uh, pur not purpose album, uh, justice album, which I which I like, I like the justice album. That's, that's a compliment. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I have to like, if I name a Western rapper, I'd be like, oh, I mean that in a positive manner, personally. But I get it if you took it as an insult. But I'm saying it as a positive thing. What song am I thinking of? I mean, it sounds like a lot of pop songs, but like... There's like a really specific song on that album. That goes. Hold on. Or somebody. Maybe one of these. This is this. I have. I feel like ten. I think there's a lot of K-pop artists, but ten speaks English. So I think if promoted right, ten could be like a Justin Bieber. Maybe not that big, but like, like in that realm of like, he's perfect for like radio music and in a good way. He has a very cleanly sweet voice that can like work well with features and things like that. Like this could be a very big like summer song on the radio, or I don't know, do people listen to the radio anymore? I don't know. But I mean by that is like. It's it's very pal palatable for Western audiences, and I know a lot of fans get mad when you say that because it's like, oh, they don't need to be Western artists. But like, opportunity-wise, I'm sure he would love that, and I feel like he already dabbles in like he he's gone to a few uh, what are they called like fashion events and stuff, interacted with artists in america and i feel like 10 would be someone who because taemin i feel like he'll just stick in korea so i think 10 would be a good person to kind of bring to america like really out of, out of every k-pop artist who i'm like dang they would be really good at america like even jungkook i i feel like not that there's stuff holding him back but i feel like I feel like he would do well musically in America, and he is, but I feel like 10 makes more sense to me, and I can't explain why, I just feel like I can see 10 being a big hit in like America, or like just the western music scene. Um, I also think like his, his interesting fashion, his dancing, he has a bit of a sex appeal sometimes, like when he... Like sometimes he can he can like you know he, he'll be grinding on stuff like i feel like he's he, i feel like lie with you would be a really good song to market to like western media and i think his voice to me sounds a little more unique to where you'll know it's him because i like i said lie with you reminds me a lot of a justin bieber song is it i'm trying to see if it's Hold on, I'm thinking of. Yeah, hold on. Just hold on. Um, But his voice is unique enough to where you wouldn't mix him up with Justin Bieber. I don't know, I just feel like 10 would be really good in America. I really wish one of the. Like, I'm just. It's been years, and there's no one in K pop who's broken out of the the like sphere enough to where you can name them like if i said 10 <laughs> or like even like jungkook like if i said the name jungkook people wouldn't know him you would have to say bts i'm confused as to why it's still taking so long for like one for there to be like the one even just an asian singer <laughs> you don't even talk about came up an asian singer to be known enough and i maybe it's the issue with social media because there's so many like social media artists that there's not like the next person to be big 
we can maybe say like i guess maybe lisa but she only has two songs so i'm not gonna name lisa she doesn't count she doesn't count <laughs> like maybe but I, I still feel like if i even said lisa you would have to say lisa from blackpink like you would have to say blackpink jenny you'd have to say from blackpink i'm just i'm just kind of sad about that i feel like because you don't have to market yourself as a k-pop artist i'm just confused why no company has managed this yet to because there's so many opportunities to market someone like kai kai's in military now so that sucks but like kai baekhyun tan even lisa even lisa or jenny like i'm like why hasn't this happened why are we not there yet as i a society to where we have an asian artist big enough ten even is singing in english jungkook even sang in english but like i still feel like we're still not we haven't hit that yet i think jungkook maybe would have been there this year but because he's in the military it's going to delay and we'll see what happens with that if they can maintain um yeah let me know what you guys think i think lie with you shadow on 10 and nightwalker are my favorites but i really like water and dangerous too they just kind of have that sad factor of me personally just tired of that sound right now but like i guarantee in a couple months i'll, I'll be back to that so let me know your favorites let me know if you think 10 would be a good candidate for being an artist in america like i really think or just in western media like he doesn't have to go to america but like just to where i like i just want to be like dang i knew him <laughs> i knew him when um, so far it hasn't happened. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!